Good morning, folks. We've got weather alerts, top science news, and of course, a bit of space weather. We don't see any sunspots, so let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the southern coronal hole. Dark. IMF connecting to Earth directly, with the solar wind about two to three days from impact. Really no other features of note on the Earth-facing half of the sun. Solar wind is quite calm here this morning, as we await that coronal hole stream, which is still days away, and geomagnetic conditions are remaining quiet in the green. Let's go to the top weather alert coming. It's for India. Cyclone Fani in the Bay of Bengal is heading northward. This is expected to be a strong impact. Preparations are underway. Official forecast track here. While major storms return to the United States tomorrow, today we're talking drought because this was the U.S. drought monitor on January 1st to start the year and look at it now. Pretty much the only negative trend here would be the growing season dry conditions popping up near Georgia all in all, a much prettier picture for the U.S. now. Wanted to quickly note that the paper describing the first Magellanic Recurrent Nova, which we saw hit Cornell's preprint archive, has now been published. The official numbers are 11 recurrent nova known in the Milky Way, one in the Magellanic System, and one in Andromeda, with the best guess that millions of long-period nova on hundreds to thousands of years' time scales have merely yet to be discovered. Some critical solar processes are now believed to be the result of electric current sheets in the solar chromosphere rather than in the photosphere. The fields are oriented parallel with the rising and falling flux ropes and plasma. We are looking down a 2D slice of the sheet such that it's thin side on and almost looks like a tornado. Electric currents, electric fields, magnetic fields resulting in UV bursts. Okay now folks, please do not adjust the knobs on your computer screen or mobile device. This is merely dust and initial condition magnetism showing that the cosmic web, plasma streams, filaments, and numerous other cosmic conditions might be the result of dust, magnetic fields, and plasma turbulence. This only works if it's the electrically charged dust you find in deep space. My voice is only going to ruin how pretty this is, so enjoy the sequences out of Caltech here. Link is below. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.